Hey man, on this episode, y'all better get locked and loaded. Cause we about to check out the super gun. Let's do this. Alright guys, I hope you're locked and loaded because we're going to talk about the super gun. So what is a super gun? First of all, this right here is a super gun, but this is a really unique one and I'm going to get into the unique aspects of it. But from a general perspective, a super gun is something where you can hook up an arcade board to it so you can play it on a TV or a monitor without the whole cabinet. So you don't need uh, an arcade power supply and things like that. So you can enjoy a PCB without the necessary uh, cabinets that you'd normally have, like a typical arcade cabinet and all the gear that comes with it. So how does it work? Well, basically, this device has some controls on the front that you can plug in so you can control the game you're playing, and it does have two players. You can use either a Sega Saturn um, controller or you can use a standard Neo Geo controller. Now, it has a button on the side where you can switch this thing between what's called MVS mode because this is also a consoleized MVS. So not only can you enjoy arcade boards with this, this one's TMNT for instance, but you can also plug in your MVS carts to it and play those as well. So this is really, really a cool device. But what this button is in the back, getting back to that, is it will allow you to switch between MVS mode and JAMA mode. If you look at the back, you'll see there's your normal component outputs, there's uh, normal um, composite outputs, there's S-Video, and then there's RGB SCART out, which is what we'll be using today. And then this is where uh, you connect this sort of cable that goes to your actual JAMA board, and then there's your power supply input. So I'm gonna show you this really quick. So I'm gonna basically take this cable that's provided to you with the unit, and I'm gonna plug it in right here. The other end of this has an interface board that goes to your JAMA. So this is gonna go directly to the PCB and it's gonna feed it both power uh, and the inputs. So you're gonna be able to plug in your joystick, like I said, to this device and be able to control the board. So you just plug that in. So this is gonna power the board straight from this device. And then we're gonna plug in our controller. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Let's go grab a controller. Okay, I got my controller. In this case, I'm gonna use a Neo Geo CD controller and it's got the clickies. So, awesome clicky controller. I'm gonna plug that in right to the front of this thing. So I'll show you really fast where it goes. So I'm gonna plug it in the one player connection right here. Now I do need to provide this with its power. So let me go grab the power supply and plug that in. Okay, I'm back with the required power supply. I'm gonna plug that in where it belongs here in the back. Now, I'm not finished yet. I have to have a way to plug this into my TV. So obviously a lot of modern TVs are gonna have HDMI, so the way I'm gonna do it may not be the way you do it, but it's the way I do it for the purposes of this. But I'll show you two ways. So just hold on, I'm gonna go get the device to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna use this OSSC device to take the RGB SCART signal and output it via HDMI. I'm gonna also flash across the screen a device that's a lot cheaper than this that will achieve the same thing. I just am really partial to this OSSC device. So I'm gonna show you how this connects right now. Believe it or not, I'm leveraging a actual Sega Mega Drive RGB SCART uh, cable because it will also work on this super gun. Okay, so now I'm going to plug in my RGB SCART cable to the back of the super gun. Now keep in mind, I keep this hooked up all the time, so I don't have to do this every time. This is just a one time setup, and then I just hook up the PCB that I want when I want to use it. One thing that I failed to mention is this step would not be required if your TV has component input. So this has component outputs, so you could hook it up this way and be straight and ready to go. Let's continue. So that's going to pass my video signal. Now I'm going to need something to pass the audio from the back of the consoleized MVS or Super Gun to the OSSC. So I got a cable which is your RCAs and at the other end it has a 3.5 millimeter jack. So this is going to go into the OSSC and then this is going to go into the Super Gun. So my audio out is right here. So I'm going to go red and white okay now at this point I've got a lot on this table so 
I should have kept it where it was, but I wanted to show you guys how you hook it up. So now everything is hooked up. I have my OSSC, although I don't have the power on that yet. So I'm going to plug this into power and then we should be able to power this board onto our TV right over here that you can't see at the moment. Okay, here's my power connector for my OSSC. I'm gonna plug that in right here. Now, I'm gonna power everything up and show you how this works here in a second, but just so you know, I got everything set up. This is exactly what you'd need to do. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't hooked up my HDMI out from my OSSC to the TV I wanna play the TNG Ninja Turtle board on. So let me go get that HDMI cable and we'll hook it right up. Okay, I got my HDMI. I'm gonna go right into the OSSC. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the OSSC first. So there we go. I wanna make sure it's on the right input. So the input for this is AV1. So I wanna hit this little button right here, make sure it's on AV1 RGB SCART. Then uh, on my TV, this is actually HDMI1, so I just wanna switch that. And then what you'll get is, you'll get sort of this like test pattern. Okay. So that means that at least the OSSC part of it is working right now. So now the second thing we need to do is just turn this thing on and we should actually get power to the JAMA board and it should actually display it on the TV. So I'm gonna press the power button right now and then we're gonna look at the, board, the TV here and there we go. It's starting to load the actual TMNT game right now. So really, really cool. And the sound should be passing through to the TV if we did it right. Hey, look, it's the original TMNT song, the real one. <laughs> now, the really cool thing about the OSSC and why I like it is we can mess with the resolution quite a bit. I'm going to lower the volume so it's not blaring in our face. But why I like having my super gun hooked up with an OSSC is because I can mess with a couple of key settings on here. So. The one that I like to mess with is actually going to the menu system and going to output. And I want to do a line tripling, which actually brings the resolution a little bit tighter and will restore the four by three aspect ratio. Now I can go up to, I can go up to quadrupling the lines. Uh, I can go to five times lines. I can do really cool things. I can add scan lines. So if you look at the remote control, there's a scan line type. So if I look up there, it actually just added scan lines to the image and I can actually widen those scan lines to make them really wide. So I don't know if you can tell, but now I've got some really wide, awesome looking scan lines. And this looks beautiful on the TV. I mean, I, you, you'll never have seen TMNT look as good as it does on a TV like this. So. This is a really neat thing, guys. If you're really into, you know, exploring the world of arcade PCBs and you want to kind of have a way to test them, play them without actually, you know, needing to have a full arcade setup, this is a really neat tool to have. So if you can see the, you, know, you can see the image looks really, really nice. You can see those scan lines look pretty authentic. So now keep in mind, there's a much cheaper and a little bit easier way to do this. You can use a you can use what's called an RGB SCART to HDMI output. You're not going to have as granular, you know, capabilities to do the kind of things you can do with this thing, but you can enjoy it just the same. So I'm just going to show you really quick that the controller works. Here's my Neo Geo controller. I'm going to hit select, which is actually putting coins in and I'll move this out of the way so you don't see it. And I can get back focused on the screen. And you can see I can play, you know, this original arcade board on my TV. This is actually zero emulation, guys. I'm playing it right off the arcade board. So this is just really cool if you get into the hobby of, you know, arcade gaming and you want to, you know, test out boards. I'm going to swing it over here so you can see. We're running off the actual arcade PCB. So really, really neat stuff, guys. And you can test a whole bunch of different arcade PCBs if this is something you're into. So this board or this super gun has one more trick up its sleeve. So we're gonna explore that really fast. Okay, so now we're gonna test out a Neo Geo MVS cart because this board actually does both Neo Geo and JAMA. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna power this off really fast. Um, look at the, Neo Geo cart, there's a triangle there. You're gonna match that up with the triangle in the front. 
And then you're just going to snugly push that. Oh, sometimes these don't line up that well. All right, there we go. I got it in. Okay, that's in. We're going to switch this button from JAMA to MVS, which we just push it in or push it out. And then we'll power this back on. Now, if we did that correctly, it should load our Neo Geo BIOS. This is running UniBIOS 3.3. All right, guys, so this was just a brief overview of a super gun, what it is and what it does. We can actually go on for a really long time with this and we'll probably do a part two and part three so everyone feels comfortable with the technology. But I just thought this would be neat as a lot of you are new to arcades. So you can go out there, explore the world of PCBs, find ones that you like, and you don't have to have a full arcade cabinet to test them and play out, play them out. So. Guys, if you like this video, please like it. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Hopefully this was something fun that you enjoyed. And turn on notifications, comment below. I wanna hear what you think. And guys, that's it for now. We will see you on the next one. Take care.